Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this video where I'll be giving you guys the latest on the tropics. And so guys, we're going to be talking about two things. So first up, we're going to be looking at the two most recent predictions for this hurricane season. And we're also going to be talking about when we're likely to see our next name storm, which would be Bill. And so before I go into all of the details, Okay guys, and so first up, let's take a look at our latest predictions for this season. And so they are from the Tropical Storm Risk, which was uh, sent out on the 27th of May and then Colorado State University on the 3rd of June. So they are both expecting 18 named storms. TSR is expecting 9 hurricanes while CSU is expecting 8. And they are both expecting 4 major hurricanes. And so just a reminder... A major hurricane has winds that are beyond 111 miles per hour. So basically category 3 or higher on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane wind scale. We're going to be taking a look at the GFS model and so this is by Friday the 11th of June and so this is a map showing the isobars which are lines of equal pressure and so the closer you see them in a circular manner with the pressure below 1030 millibars that is a low pressure system and so usually that's our tropical cyclones and so we're not seeing the isobars really coming together but take a look at that in the vicinity of Hispaniola we have 1008 millibar low pressure system just right there and so going further out with their prediction we're not seeing anything really developing but we're seeing hints of something trying to develop right there so fortunately we're seeing that system to the north, so likely it's not going to be much of a threat to land, but it could enhance the rainfall in the vicinity of the North Caribbean if this is the scenario. Again, guys, this is just a prediction. It doesn't have to be what takes place. And so going out to the Icon Mall, they're showing that we could have a low-pressure system trying to develop in the South Caribbean by the 9th of June. And so the model doesn't go further out from this, so... So most likely this is just an area of disturbed weather that is potentially being watched by the National Hurricane Center if the chance is there that it intensifies. And so going out to the CMC model, take a look at that in the Gulf of Mexico. They're showing a 1,002 millibar low pressure system. So that's most likely a weak tropical storm. And so guys, we really have to pay attention to this because once conditions are right in the Gulf, especially with the very warm ocean temperatures, and I'm going to go to the ocean temperature map very soon. So especially with that, then we are going to be having the potential for a storm developing in that region. And so Euro doesn't show much. It doesn't go as far as the other malls, but by the 14th of June, which is the latest run, they're showing a potential maybe depression or storm moving into Central America. And so if this get pu gets pulled in the Caribbean or the Gulf and conditions are favorable, then there is the, the potential that it could develop into a tropical cyclone. And looking at the track of where we usually have our systems in the month of June, usually coming from the Caribbean and they make their way into the Gulf of Mexico. And so this could potentially be what takes place with our next tropical system guys and so now I'm going to the ocean temperature map and so this is the latest of course and so looking at the gulf of mexico especially the southern part we're seeing there sub 29 degrees celsius and so those are some very very warm ocean temperatures to support any tropical system trying to develop the western caribbean is also quite warm so most of the main development region is getting very very warm and so as time goes by i will keep you updated on the latest in the tropics and so guys that is really it for this video and so if you found it to be quite informative please do a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and of course i'll keep you updated as time goes by